You know, there's an on-off switch on uh, NOAA weather radio, and it's important to understand what it does and what it doesn't do. When you've put your batteries in your weather radio and you've programmed it and you've got it plugged into the wall, you must always leave that switch on. That has to be on because the radio's job is to silently monitor a broadcast from the National Weather Service. That's what this one is doing right now. It's always listening. If you turn this switch off, you've turned off NOAA weather radio, and this is nothing more than a little white clock. So make sure that, ra that uh, weather radio button is always in the on position. And if you have kids or grandkids that come over to your home, make sure they never turn that off. And let me show you why. In the on position, when you've tuned to your local transmitter, you set the channel, you push that button, you'll hear the broadcast from the National Weather Service. If you turn that off and you push that button, you hear nothing because you've turned off weather radio. This is just a clock. So make sure that button is always on. The radio silently monitors the National Weather Service broadcast. If you want to listen to it, press the button and listen. Otherwise, you keep it silent. But as long as that is on and it's plugged into the wall, the National Weather Service or Environment Canada have control of your weather radio.